round and round and round and round. Hi everybody, I'm Kate Walsh Ofer and this is No Teleprompter, No Mercy, the weekly web series for people who like to lower the boom and drop the hammer and hit the nail on the head and other idioms as well. Today I'm talking about something that we pretty much all do, but we don't always talk about. Of course, I'm talking about driving. Specifically, I'm talking about driving in traffic circles. You might call them roundabout, rotary, loop-de-loop, -loop, whirly gig, roundy round, whirly whirls, or circly circles. Personally, I love them. They just keep things going. I think they're very efficient. But there are some people who turn my pleasant traffic circle driving experience into a white knuckle wheel of death. And I get it, people who don't know how to drive in traffic circles. Maybe you're overwhelmed. You missed driver's ed that day uh, for some reason. But here's what goes on. Here I am in the traffic circle. This person over here is just gonna gun it. Just that's their move. That And some people I find on the road when they don't know how to handle a specific traffic situation, their go-to mechanism for coping with it is just hitting the gas. Just floor it. Two things. Floor it and then make no eye contact. No eye contact because I don't see you or I don't see you seeing me doing what I'm doing. So if I don't, if I floor it and don't look, then it's on you as the person uh, who does not want to have uh, their bones rearranged in a way that isn't uh, standard. All of a sudden, it's just this moment of, Wah! and so I'm sort of like breaking, I sort of just let this person go because I'm thinking to myself, I want you in front of me because I want to be able to see your next move. But I'm thinking to myself, what is wrong with you? It's not that complicated. I actually was going through a circle another time and I'm going through, I'm headed on my way out and someone else just comes in comes right in and I keep slowing down because I'm thinking, what? And so here we go, she's just coming, coming, coming. And then she looks at me like, maniac. It's moments like this that I completely understand road rage on a level that is cellular. I'm not actually going to chase you down and hit you with my car and relieve everyone from your terrible driving habits in the universe. I'm not going to do that. But there's a part of me that thinks that I want to. So this week I thought I would just take a few moments to do a traffic circle tutorial. All right, for demonstration purposes, I have a VW bus that um, from the movie Cars. This in the demonstration will be representing uh, me. And I didn't ha really have another car. So um, for other drivers, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this uh, insane looking finger puppet. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, for demonstration purposes, I am using the top of a stool to represent the traffic circle. And if you are approaching this traffic circle and you see me driving in it like this, do -do -do -do, and you come, I don't know what to do in a traffic circle! I don't know what to do! No panic is number one. You wait for me to go by. So you wait, and then there's nobody else coming, so I'm gonna go about my way. Then you, you can get in the traffic circle. Now this is safe, and we can get off at our respective exits. This is what we don't do. Don't do this. If you come in here like this, oh God, have to yield. Okay, um, ugh. Scoop, scoop, okay. All right, so that was unexpected. What you don't do is you just come along and I'm driving and you're like, I'm just gonna get in the circle! Get in at all costs! I don't care! Don't do that. If you're in the traffic circle and you're like, I'm in the circle! But I come along, <laughs> what do I do in the circle? So you come, I come along and I'm like, oh my God, this person does not know what they're doing. I'm just gonna wait, you wait, they go by and then I get in and then we're both in the traffic circle, and I'm lucky to be behind you because I have no idea what you might do. Don't just gun it into the circle. I think you get it. Yield on the outside, go on the inside, or just stay home. Take a cab, figure it out. 
This public service announcement has been brought to you by the Committee for Prevention of Your Bumper going into the passenger side door of my car and replacing my leg bone with a metal rod. I would like to thank you for liking and commenting and waiting to get out of the car before you text your friends about how much you love this latest video and telling them to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Are you familiar with Facebook and Twitter and Instagram? As am I. You can follow all the things. The links are all below. Until next time. Be careful out there. Please don't kill me. What do I do in the circle?